I was born to some young parents. I actually was adopted. My dad was a World War II vet and worked in the steel mill and my mom got out of high school and was happy to be a mom. I went to a unique college because it was an all-male college and that was when really my passion started with psychology. Went on to graduate school and cruised through and got my master's in counseling and um, it cruised through even further, got married somewhere in the middle of all that and had my PhD at 28. Went into private practice and worked with people for at least 20 years and a full-time job came up here and that was 10 years ago. But I think probably the biggest turning point um, in all of everything was I fell off a roof. And uh, me and the concrete met 16 feet later and I fractured my femur and had a head injury and sunk into a pretty deep kind of depression of things because it's just like, what, what are you doing, God? What, what the heck's going on? I'm sure there were students that were completely freaked out because I was walking around with something that looked like a telephone cord coming out of the back of my neck to control the pain. CCU and its students and the people I worked with really became a source of life for me. So I walked away with a victorious limp. One of the things that I love about Dr. Mitch is his willingness to like break the mold of what it means to be um, a professor. You want to go to class because you don't know what you're going to miss that day. He makes it exciting and he makes it hilarious. He doesn't shy away from like letting us ask the hard questions, which is really helpful for just our personal growth and spiritual life. He has this wisdom of scripture and of people that I had never encountered before. Lynn and I have been married 40 years. Uh, we have four kids. I love taking long walks with my wife. She's a school teacher too, and I love my family. I love hanging out with them. I still have enough of an introvert that I like to be by myself too. Ray is a master teacher, and he knows how to connect the facts, the figures, the data to the students so it's applicable in their lives. As a former pastor, he cares about their spiritual life as much as he cares as an academic about the content um, of the material. Yeah, I see what I do as teaching, but I, I see more of what I do as painting a picture of what life can be, using what we know about psychology and relationships and all that in affecting and impacting other people's lives. I'm trying to find a way to enter their world and teach from there rather than be in my world and have them come to mine. I said, I will not apologize for crying in front of you because it's just a way to show that you know, a fully owned heart changes people.